why are pens with metal bodies or threads not recommended for converting for eyedropper use? Is it a concern about corrosion? After all, nibs are metal. So those are definitely part of the pen that you want to contact the ink. So yeah, of course, it kind of makes sense, right? Like if you have a pen and you have a stainless steel nib, um, you know, it's very common for a lot of pens. Um, and you have, an, a you know, if it's a cartridge converter, you can take out the cartridge or the converter. Uh, eyedropper conversion, for those of you that don't know, is when you fill the whole body of the pen with ink instead of using a cartridge or converter or something like that. You, know, you put a little silicone grease on the threads, you can fill your whole body, get a large ink capacity, um, and then you can just write with it. So why, logically, if the nib is metal, why can't you put the whole ink in the rest of the body if it's got metal components or if it is metal itself, like the Metropolitan is all metal? Um, the reason is because it's a different type of metal. So stainless steel is a corrosion resistant ink, whereas usually the parts that are made for the rest of the pen are not gonna be made out of stainless steel or titanium or gold or something like that that would be more corrosion resistant. Um, the materials they use for nibs, you know, palladium, titanium, steel, all those things, they are uh, gonna be more corrosion resistant than what you would typically see in pen parts, which might be nickel, brass, aluminum, some kind of like chrome plated something or other, um, you know, which a chrome plating is more resistant than something like brass, but even still it's going to corrode over time with prolonged exposure to moisture. Um, so it is, uh, that's one factor. Another thing is usually pens with metal parts and things on them, like this is a Visconti Rembrandt. It's got metal threads in here. It's got metal at the end, but the body is resin. When you have a mixture of metal and other components, every one of those components is a potential for leakage. So they are often glued, sometimes they're screwed, but they're often glued in place. But unless the glue is completely airtight, you could end up with potential leakage or maybe not like a gushing leakage out of here, but if it's not airtight, then it could cause the, the flow of ink to be affected and stuff like that. So if it's not a corrosion issue, then it could be a you know pen build issue where if it's not intended to be completely sealed airtight for the purpose of eyedropper conversion, then you might end up with some leakage or something like that over time. So. Those are pretty much the reasons why if you have a pen with metal components that is to be eyedropper converted, it needs to be manufactured with that intention in mind. Otherwise, it could corrode over time.